Louisiana Beer Reviews Line and Kugel's Canoe Paddle Coast. Now when this came onto the market in 2013 it was called Canoe Paddler but now in, as of 2019 it's been rebranded as Canoe Paddle Kolsch. It's 5% alcohol, 11 international bitterness units. Made, it's made with water, barley malt, corn syrup, some rye, hops and yeast. So it has rye addition. It says right there, uh, light bodied beer brewed with malted rye. It's certified kosher, and it's from Chippewa Falls and Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So brewed in Wisconsin by Jacob Line and Kugel Brewing Company. All right, so I've been on the market seven years, and it's been seven years since I reviewed this. I didn't realize it had been that long. It didn't seem like it was seven years ago. I want to thank David Garlipede for this six-pack. He got a great deal on it. We're always getting great deals around here. Three ninety-nine dollars a six-pack. Craziness. Craziness. Look at this Macro Henny Tabasco glass. So here we go with this Kolsch, really Kolsch style beer, because Kolsch beers come from Köln, Germany. Nice smoke on that bottle open. Very thick off white head. Now my complaint seven years ago was that it was a little bit dull. I find most American companies don't seem to do a very good job with Kolsch beers. Reisdorf Kolsch, Sonno Kolsch from Germany, awesome products if you see them. Thick, uh, soapy head, it's golden in the appearance, it's bubbly. Yeah, I mean, so it's not an authentic Kolsch if it has corn syrup in it. Because in Germany they have the Reinheitsgebot, the German purity law, and they can't add any rice or corn. They can add wheat now, they adjusted the law, see, they add wheat. Or just have a wheat beer. But uh, no corn, no rice, just water, barley malt, hops, yeast, and maybe wheat. It's got that kind of... Um, Pungent Kolsch ale hybrid type smell. In some ways, they're similar to American cream ales, sort of a hybrid lager ale product. Now, you know, Cologne, Germany is in the western part, west of the Rhine, in the Rhineland. Okay. About the Rhine River. Sweet, tangy, tangy. Yeah, the air conditioner, it's going to do that all summer long. Come off, cut off and on. Some powerful blower motor. Does cool the house well, though. Bitterness, uh, 11 IBUs won't be in, it, in, in, in play. 5% alcohol, that's the same as Budweiser, Coors, or Coors Banquet. Medium body, has some body to it. Has a little bite to it. I guess that means it has a little character. <laughs> um, it does kind of taste more colshy than it used to, I guess, seven years ago. There's a little spiciness from the rye, but uh, I don't know if they adjusted the recipe. I think it was set, it was five percent in 2013. But I appreciate the gift. I wasn't expecting this. From what I read from the company, they're going to have it year round now. But in Louisiana, we don't get too many Line and Kugel's beers aside from their Shandies. That's really what we get. We don't get the original. We don't get the the light. We just we used to get years ago, 2011, 12, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, we used to get those Leinenkugel Super Deluxe Gourmet craft beers, you know, the ones like the Doppelbach and that real Imperial White Ale, they call it Big Eddie series. The fancy bottles, big bottles. Uh, they were really dynamite. But I guess the sales weren't good, so they, they dropped them. Some of y'all might remember Big Eddie series, E D D Y. There were four different ones, I think. One of them was maybe a rye something. I liked them. The Imperial White Ale was kind of hard to take. That was pretty. You drank it and you so. But anyway, kind of like the Samuel Adams. There it is, all. Samuel Adams Imperial White. I think I'll get next to you. Okay. Gag a little bit. <laughs> uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about. Those little Samuel Adams Imperial beers. I missed the Samuel Adams Boston, Boston Ale that I never see. Well, this is really turning out much better. I mean, I wasn't too thrilled. If you watched the old video, I wasn't too thrilled with it, but um, I'm more pleased with it now. Uh, updated the label a little bit, a little bit, yes, and um, hope they keep this label. Hope they don't change the label due to you know what correctness uh, ism munism uh, anyway it's a winner let's see what the score would be yeah, it's working out I was thinking, uh, I'm just it's gonna be another disappointment, <laughs> but it but it isn't. Um, I'll go with a 91, a 91 out of 100, uh, A minus. Could be argued up higher though, really, but uh, 91 out of 100. I'm gonna take a photo of the rest of it. So. Uh, Les L.A. Bon Ton Relay, an excellent product, and I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all, come on down. Oh, yeah, and here's an old can, Schmitz Bach beer. Uh, I never drank it. I bought this at one of these collector shows. It was cheap. Bre brewed with pure water from finest malt, cereal grains, adjuncts, hops, and cultured yeast. Hmm. I have... I have actually had Schmitz twice, bottled and canned. Thank you very much.